everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the extended double crochet stitch, which is the stitch pattern that you see here in front of you. Uh, it creates just a very, a, a little bit of a different look uh, in the double crochet stitch. And uh, as I've mentioned in the videos for the single and the half double crochet, the benefit of the extended stitches is that it gives it a more airy, uh, versatile uh, fabric. Okay, so this is the stitch that we're going to do here today. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone Yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. And while you're here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly. So why don't uh, we'll grab our hook and our yarn and we're going to learn how to crochet this extended double crochet stitch. Our stitch today, the extended double crochet stitch is worked in rows. So you're going to start off by making your slip knot. For this stitch, you can have any multiple of stitches you're just going to want to chain an extra four for your starting chain. And that extra four will count as a stitch at the beginning of each row. So you're going to, today I'm going to chain 12 and then an extra four for a total of 16. Fifteen and sixteen. Now for our stitch today, what we're going to do is we're going to start by working our first one into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and then five. And into that fifth chain, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook. Then yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're now going to yarn over and pull that yarn through one loop on your hook. You're going to have three left. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. That's your first extended half double crochet stitch. We'll show that to you again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through one loop on your hook, three loops left, yarn over, draw through two loops and yarn over and draw through two more. So you can see how that makes your stitch just a little bit longer. It's probably more like a triple crochet, except it's a double. So you're going to continue all of those uh, extended double crochet stitches all the way down to the end of your foundation chain. At the end of your row, you'll have something that looks like this. And normally when working a double crochet stitch, you would chain three, but because we're working the extended one, we're going to chain four, which will count as a stitch, and turn your work. You're then going to work your next extended double crochet stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You can then continue them all the way down to the end of this row. Just remember that when you reach the end of your row, you will want to work your final extended double crochet stitch into that final, or I guess it was the starting chain four. So that's all there is to working this extended double crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.